Hello guys, Dummy here. Today what I have for you is a customizable shop. Basically you put one item in and that will be obviously pre-chosen by you and then you'll get a number out that is again chosen by you so you can have pretty much any number of items coming out for your one item that you put in. So for this one I've got it up so it's seven gold coming out for one diamond. So if I just go in here and put one diamond in, it will just chuck us out seven gold. And another cool little thing about this, as I'll show you now, is you can actually put in as many as you like in at a time and it will still work and that won't break the system, it will only take them out as they are used. So you'll see this thing will give us 21 items, as shown by this, because 7 times 3 is obviously 21. So you can already see a bit of the redstone through the glass, but here is the full thing. It's quite large and there's a little bit of empty space over here which I don't really like. But other than that, I think it's quite a nice little neat design. Basically, it's a combination of my uh, my shop that I made, so you may have seen my video on that. If you haven't, there'll be an annotation on the screen and a link in the description. Basically, it's a one-for-one -one ratio tileable shop, so check that out if that's actually what you want. But this is if you want a customizable amount, so you put one item in and then you get a chosen number out. And you might actually be able to decipher my um, pulse lengthener out over here that I did a video on, the really customizable one. So you put the number of items in here that you want to customize it by and then this just creates a pulse lengthener and then the output of that is actually going into some hoppers so that that opens up hoppers for a certain amount of time meaning that'll be how many items you get out. And it's a bit strange how it works, it's the number of items you put in, doubled it and take away one and that's because the uh, items have to go all the way over here and then back again so it's double the amount of time but then it's actually one less than the double so that's why you get seven out each time from this because it's four so double it will be eight take away one will be seven so if I just show you in action now if I just put one of my diamonds in you'll be able to see the pulse length now working and then they go from side to side and as I said this could be customized so if I just put uh, say eight diamonds in eight things in here doesn't matter what item it is because it's just gonna be going back and forth this should give us 15 items, so if I just put another diamond in here, then it should give us 15 of that item because there was 8 items in the other thing, as you can see there. And this will work again if I put in 2 items, it will give us 30, and so forth and so on. So as you can see here, it's in 2 piles, but it is actually 30, so that's perfect. So you can put as many as you want in, and it will just keep on doing it until, until it's done what it's doing. And as I said, just customize this to whatever number you want. So you could have, so if you effectively wanted to take diamonds, but wanted to give something like, like the 30 ender pearls or something like that, then you could quite easily do that by just changing this number. So to build this, these are the items you're going to need. I know there's quite a few, but you know, it could be worth it if you want a shop with a bit more customization than just one to one, like the regular ones, without it being too large that it's impossible to build. Because it is only three wide, actually, if you look at it. And it's not that long either, it's quite tall, but you know, for what it does, it's actually reasonably compact. Now I just want to mention that these items down the bottom are actually for the addition of the stock counter. So this is actually optional whether you want, to, want it to tell you how much stock you have. So there, this is optional, but I'll show you how to build that in the tutorial now. So to start with, we're going to put a dropper here, or a uh, dispenser. Basically, this is actually just to hold the items in, as I didn't want to use a chest, because if you use a chest, it's actually got a little gap here which you can actually get to this and muck up the whole system so that's why I've used a dropper it doesn't actually act, it's not actually acting as a dropper it's just acting as a an item store that can uh, that doesn't actually let you um, press anything through it so this basically just stops you getting to the other bits of the system so it's actually quite a nice little addition and that's why I've used the dropper in case you're wondering so now we're going to start by putting some uh, hoppers down below it and it's incredibly important that you face them in the directions that I'm doing it. So basically, by shift clicking, you're going to make them both face outwards towards this way. If they don't face outwards and this one's facing down, then it will actually mess up the system. So just make sure you've got that done. Now you're going to put in a chest down here, and this is basically where your items are going to go. So as you saw, I was paying with diamonds earlier, and here is where the loot goes. And now we're going to put a block over here and another one down there. And then we're going to make a little shape like this and put a block there. So this is just a standard item filter that many people use and I've used in a lot of my videos as well. Basically this just takes out one item at a time and gives you a pulse every time it takes out an item. So that's basically 
uh, it, and I'm sure many of you know all about this. So basically your item, your actual item that you're fil filtering will go in here and I'll show you what's put in there in a little bit once I've built the rest of the thing. Now you're going to get your piston and you're going to go upwards two blocks like that from this, this piece of redstone at the back. And this actually doesn't look like it should be activated by anything. However, this little circuit, as you may have seen in my pulse length in the video that I also link in the description, this is actually activated by budding and this these pieces of redstone actually bud this, um, actually activate the bud of this so it will update the area of this piston and so that will, that is what gets it started. So it's a little bit confusing I know but, but it works. Now we're going to put a block on this side of the redstone block and then we're going to put a comparator there so this is going to take the output out of here. Then we're going to get a block up like this and a redstone torch there and then we're going to get our regular piston and that's going to go in here and this is actually what's going to cause what actually causes the budding action, action as I explained in my other video. Now we're going to take two blocks over here, put one piece of redstone here and then a repeater over here and then this is it ready and then we'll put the number of items that you want in here. So if you wanted 11 items to come out you'd just put six items in here and this this will be ready to go once it's activated. Now we're going to come over here and put a block like this on this second hopper and put an output out of there. This is going to go into a block up here and this is going to be going a piston facing down underneath it with a piece of redstone and this is basically what's going to be uh, closing off this so once it's activated no more items can go through and this is what allows us to put more than one item in at a time so it's a nice little feature not completely necessary but I think it's very very valuable so you just simply put two pieces of redstone there like that and then when this is activated it will just close off this hopper. Now for the items coming into the system we're going to put a redstone torch on here and this is going to be stopping items from coming along here so we're going to put one, repeat, um, one hopper there going into the back of the dropper so one um, another hopper on the back of that and as you can see that actually acted as a bud because I mean that actually updated this block and that just shows you that that is how it's working. Now we're going to put a, another hop up here so it's going down and then one hopper there and now when you put the items you want to give you put them all in here and so that's just a nice little feature. So that is the entire build now we just need to sort out the filters and various other things that involve hoppers. So this is the filter over here so you're going to put the item that you want to be accepting over here now obviously a standard currency is diamonds as you all know so you can either you basically want 22 items in here of the either the item you're accepting so you could put 22 items in here like this and this would actually make it um, only accept diamonds of course however there is an alternative that you can do you can actually just put one diamond in because I know diamonds are very valuable and you not, might not want to put 22 items in so you just put one diamond in get your dirt and then you can put dirt in here but obviously if they put dirt in here it will ruin the whole system but you can rename this dirt to make it something completely abstract that no one's ever going to put in so effectively now if you just put in a diamond and any other item it won't won't work unless you put in the diamond of course so if you're going to use another item such as dirt a filler item be careful because obviously it can be um, tampered with if they use dirt but how this stands at the moment, you just put one diamond in and then it will set off the system. And if I put in two, it will wait until the first one's done. So now for the item that we're going to be giving away, I'm going to be doing gold. And you just stick them in this hopper over here and they can't get through because it's currently locked. And then we're just going to get our chest. And I'm just going to stick that up here. And this just allows us to add extra storage. And a neat little thing about this that I'm just going to tell you now is that you can actually use this as a stock counter so I'm just going to implement that now so if I just put a comparator here going into a block with a redstone lamp on there this will tell you if there's stock now the cool thing about this is that you can actually have kind of a backup stock so even if this is completely empty if there was only like one gold left but your trade actually did say um, the, your trade in this case is doing another 11 so if there's one left, this actually acts as a backup in this hopper here. So now there's, if, even if they put in um, their item, they're guaranteed to still get it. So say there was only 64 items in here, and it would say there's stock. If I now put in one diamond, 
although it looked like there's no stock left, you'd actually still get all the diamonds, um, all the gold you want, because there is still a backup in here. So this is just a nice little feature. So make sure you um, put quite a few in here, because this is actually a very, very good backup. But obviously the main amount of items just can just be stuck up here. And then that is obviously your stock. And then obviously you can just fill in this as necessary. Pretty it up. Make sure this is on the bottom row because otherwise people will be able to get to this. So make sure the floor is here. And if you're going to want to be able to access the this chest, you're obviously going to need to use either a slab or a stair or something like that. A transparent box so that you can actually get to your items that you've actually received. So now let's just give this thing a test. The first one won't go through, the first one always stops in here because this is a little buffer, so do note that. See, now this is all set up, we can just put our one diamond in and then we should just get our 11 gold just coming down into here while we'll have our one diamond in our chest that we've just earned. So that is all for this video guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this build, it's quite a big one, I know, and it's quite resource um, heavy, but you know, if you want a design like this, then they're quite hard to come by. So I thought I'd just get one out there for you guys. That's relatively simple. And if you actually already subscribed to me, you already already know about how some of these things work. So it might actually be quite simple and you can actually work out um, what's going on quite easily because you know about these things that I've used before. So hopefully it wasn't too complicated for most of you. But that is all. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.